Hello and thank you for viewing this Argus Enterprise video tutorial. This video will demonstrate the property sorting and grouping features within Argus Enterprise. This functionality is employed by users to quickly filter their portfolio properties for viewing, reporting, and batch updating purposes. To access the portfolio sorting and grouping features, you will first open the portfolio that you wish to sort. With the portfolio open, you can click any of the column headings to sort that list based on the column. For example, by clicking on property name we can rearrange all the properties in the portfolio into alphabetical order. We can also use the column headings to group the properties based on their attributes. To do this, the column heading should be dragged to the area above the property name field. For example, if I would like to see a list of all of the office retail properties in my portfolio, I could simply click on the property type heading and drag it to the top of this section. My properties will then be grouped according to their property type, and I can simply open the Office Retail section to view all of the mixed-use properties. Alternatively, if I only want to view the Office Retail buildings, I can click on the funnel icon at the top of the right-hand side of the Property Type heading field. A drop-down allowing you to choose which property types to display will appear. If I select Office Retail, the list will be updated to display only the Office Retail properties. This list can be farther refined by filtering on another column. For example, to see all of my office retail properties in Pennsylvania, I would scroll over to the state column and select the funnel icon once again. Here I would select to display only properties in Pennsylvania. My list is now updated to show only those properties that are both office retail buildings and are located in Pennsylvania. If you are using property classifications, you can also use these to sort your properties. If you would like more information on classifications, please view the Argus Enterprise Classifications tutorials. Sorting and grouping your properties on the portfolio screen is quite useful in itself, but it also allows you to easily select files for reporting and batch updating purposes. Let's take our previous example of office buildings in Pennsylvania. Perhaps we did not simply want to see which buildings meet these criteria, but we also wanted to run reports on this group of properties. To run reports on a specific group of properties, you will first need to filter down to the relevant properties as we have done. You will then simply hit Select All button on the ribbon and click on the Reports tab at the bottom of the application window. You can now click on Open Report on the ribbon bar and choose which report you would like to view. For example, let's view a detailed combination cash flow for the selected properties. Once you have selected the report you wish to view, you simply need to choose Run Report to load the chosen report. Notice that only the properties that meet our criteria are included in this report. You can also use the group properties to run batch updates on your files. To do this, we will first need to click back over to Properties. Our Pennsylvania Office Retail property should still be selected. With this file selected, we will click on the Batch Update option on the ribbon bar. We can now make batch changes to our property assumptions by clicking on the relevant tab at the bottom of this window. For example, let's assume that we want to adjust the market rental rate on, on our property by 10%. To do this, we would first click on the Market Leasing tab. We can then hit the drop down next to Market Rent New to see our adjustment options. As we want to adjust the market rent up by 10%, we will select the Adjust 2% of Current Value option and input 110%. Once we have input this value, we can select Apply to apply the changes to our files. When you select Apply, you should see the values updated on the bottom half of this window. You can also manually adjust any of the values by clicking on the relevant cell in the bottom half of the window and typing in the new value. I hope you have enjoyed this brief introduction to the grouping and sorting features within Argus Enterprise. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us here in support via any one of the methods listed on the Argus software support site. If you have any comments about this video or ideas for future how-to videos, please leave them below. Also, please check out our extensive knowledge base for other helpful hints and tips regarding Argus Enterprise and our other software programs. We look forward to hearing from you.